Rubus berries such as raspberries and blackberries are increasing in popularity thanks to growing awareness of their potential health benefits. Global raspberry production alone is around 460,000 tonnes, valued at close to 1 billion US dollars. Plant and Food Research has a long established rubus breeding program, with proven success in developing new varieties of raspberries, blackberries and hybrid berries for the fresh and processed markets. Dr Ron Beetson heads up the rubus breeding program at the Institute's Mochueka site at the top of New Zealand's South Island. The Rubus Breeding Programme is, is part of our thrust to have a berry fruit centre of excellence um, here in Motueka and it's an integral part of the development of our plant breeding programmes in um, the whole of the berry fruit area. So the Rubus, I believe, has got a lot of potential for offshore development um, and our science programmes are geared towards um, delivering new cultivars that not only suitable for New Zealand but also could be suitable for other countries, uh, for example in some areas in southern Australia, down in Tasmania and uh, Victoria in particular, where the climate is um, somewhat similar to New Zealand, and also um, cultivars that could be taken up to places like the Pacific Northwest of the United States. We have about four to five hundred different selections coming through in our germplasm collection, so that in includes um, imported material and right through to advanced selections. The, the germplasm is a collection of material that's been imported into New Zealand from many parts of the world, um, Asia, North America and Europe and also some areas of um, the Southwest Pacific as well. So it's a very good collection of material that's put the program in very good stead in terms of its um, goals to achieve low chill cultivars for New Zealand. The major achievement of the, um, the programs to date it has been the production of Karaka Black, which is a hybrid blackberry, and that's been a, quite a success. It's now marketed offshore, as well as um, grown in New Zealand. And the other outstanding achievement of the program in the Rubus has been the Raspberry Cultivar Wakefield, which is now uh, well established in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. The breeding program focuses on a number of traits, identified as valuable by the berry fruit industry, as breeder Joe Stevens explains. The key targets of the breeding program, um, really the main target is processing varieties. For that we're looking at for high yield, good fruit quality in terms of um, high sugars, good flavour, uh, good colour in the berries and a disease resistance. We're also looking for varieties for the fresh market. They also require berries with high yield, uh, good, good fruit quality attributes and disease resistance. Plant Food offers a very integrated um, approach to fruit breeding. Uh, we have an excellent germplasm collection. We have strong capability in quantitative and molecular genetics and bio biometrics. And we also have a very strong food innovation team. Growers have long known the value of new varieties of fruits that provide them with superior production traits and differentiation from competitors. Consumers are also becoming more aware of the range of characteristics fruits can have and their demands are now being added to the mix by breeders. There's certainly a trend in the market that consumers are more particular about what they're looking for. So we see that in apples for example, people don't go out to buy an apple, they go after a particular variety that suits their needs. And I think we're going to see that same sort of differentiation occurring in berries. So instead of just a blueberry or a raspberry, Consumers will be looking for particular varieties in the fresh and in the processed market. In order for a new cultivar to be uh, valued in a proprietary food product, you need to have uh, good processing characteristics. And I guess the market is now looking for healthful attributes, so high levels of anthocyanins, phenolics, um, larger tannins, folates. So I think that's going to be one of the secrets of, of breaking into that market, of, of making your cultivar essential to a, to a consumer product. Some of the recent work our food innovation researchers have done has been really interesting. They've been looking at the chemical composition of a number of berry crops. And in Wakefield Raspberry, they've found higher levels of anthocyanins, phenolics and uh, folates, which are all chemicals associated with health benefits for consumers. So there's ongoing work in that area and it looks really exciting. New varieties of berries that are specifically bred for the environmental conditions in key growing regions are of great value to the industry. 
Plant and Food Research has extended its breeding program beyond New Zealand into these markets. The Pacific Northwest of the USA produces 95% of that country's processed raspberries, and Plant and Food Research is working with the Northwest Plant Company to breed new cultivars specifically for the region. The first of these, Wakefield, has recently been released to the market. Um, Wakefield came as a selection itself in 2002, I want to say, so if the first look that we had of it was 2003, 2004, and at that time we, we identified that it you know, stood out and we sort of bulked it up and got it in some larger plantings. So it's been around for quite a while, it's just finally now to the stage where it's out to other growers and it's in commercial plantings. Um, our research priorities would be um, finding new varieties is obviously the big one. Um, we're looking for things to f varieties that will fill uh, the spectrum of the season from early to mid to late fruiting um, varieties. Wakefield is a later fruiting variety, so I think one of our next priorities would be to get something more towards early season, as well as um, disease resistance, which is going to continue to be a huge um, issue for us here in the Northwest as there's virus issues, there's root rot issues, um, there's mold and um, other pest issues in, during harvest. So um, anything that we can do to overcome that um, without pesticides is, is going to be big and I think varieties that have resistance is one of the big ones. So working closely with, with Enfield Farms and Northwest Plant, the, the program is um, operating at maximum speed for a breeding program that the plants are evaluated for two years and then cycled. Um, as soon as we identify a superior selection, it's propagated rapidly through tissue culture and then planted in a new trial. Um, so really, we, we're really employing fast breeding techniques here. And in the future, we hope to, with the use of genetic markers, it'll, it'll get even faster. The nice thing about the Pacific Northwest for our breeding program is it enables us to do things at a scale that just isn't possible in New Zealand. So we can get things out to machine harvest trials really quickly um, and do the selection work a lot faster. So there's a lot of capability we're building up there that we'll be bringing back to New Zealand and utilising both in raspberries and other crops. There's great potential for rubus berries in the global marketplace. For producers, fruit from new cultivars will earn premiums over commodity varieties. For consumers, an extended growing season, coupled with increasingly sophisticated methods of quick freezing, allows berries to be enjoyed all year round. Plus, science is helping producers offer berry products with high levels of healthy compounds. Plant and Food Research has established a number of offshore breeding programs to ensure new cultivars meet the production requirements of the local environment and that fruit is grown close to market, delivering value for producer and consumer alike.